All right, today you're gonna finally know what it means to let the club do the work. Welcome back everybody. We're gonna go a little deeper into this idea that we can have the freest, loosest, most powerful swing doing the smallest little things in this golf swing we can. And we're referencing balance. We gotta know what that is. I'm gonna describe it in many different ways so you guys have a clear understanding of when that moment we're searching for hits. Of course, we're gonna be sort of balanced throughout the swing, but I'm talking about a specific moment, that nanosecond before you engage the downswing to go hit the ball. If you haven't seen the previous two videos, I would definitely suggest you go back and watch them. So what we're talking about here is tossing the takeaway as one example. We don't want to manufacture the takeaway because our whole body's gonna help us do that. We want this club swinging. So one way to do that is to feel like we're swinging the club head and it swings back to us like a boomerang. Okay, our whole goal with the takeaway is to refine this balance point where my palm is out and I'm catching it with this right knuckle like I'm waving at somebody to the point where it can kind of move me back into position. Now we're gonna talk about what we're talking about today is this passive arm. So we're gonna then use this lower body and this passive right arm that technically can't go any farther back because my palm is right here. If my palm was facing the camera, I'd break down. As soon as my palm is facing out, I have a backstop because my arm literally can't go any farther back. And you see my palm is facing away. I move forward, my palm is facing the target. The palm and the face are matched up. Summary, boom, toss, catch, 50-50 in every direction. Send the lower body and everything else just lets go against this leverage. The club automatically releases and finishes a swing for you. It will be the freest, loosest, let the club do the work swing you've ever done in your life. 3% of golfers who's gonna grind and do all these drills, those are great but that's not the average Joe. I'm talking to you, the regular golfer. All right, now is the time we're gonna talk about this passive right arm and exactly what that means. This is the magic of the swing. If you can get this arm to be passive with a natural backstop so it releases itself, your game will be different than you've ever seen and everyone will be complimenting you on how smooth your swing is. So I was watching Aaron Rodgers warm up. He's already coming back from the Achilles about four weeks ago or something. And he's out there throwing the football and you watch him real close, you see his whole body goes. He uses his body so effectively and the arm just almost shoots out. It looks like he's in one of those football machines that shoots the ball out. And you can see that he's just maybe given a little extra and that's it. It's almost all his body releasing the arm and then throwing. We're gonna do the same thing going down. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna dig way into this thought of absorbing the takeaway. We wanna absorb this takeaway with the palm out because if we get the palm towards the camera right there, you're gonna see that's where we get all this breakdown. Anybody look like this in their swing? Because your palm's facing the camera or right out in front of you. As soon as it goes out, it gets stuck, it stops. And instead of sort of cramming it up there, we're gonna be smooth. Let it absorb and go the other way because once this arm is here, we have leverage. Now we're moving and the arm is right by our side where we'd want it and it's ready to release at any time because we're not holding it there and we're not throwing it away. The key there is though, when we're gonna really go forward and let this arm and hand release, we gotta be 50, 50, 50, 50. We gotta be balanced in every direction as perfectly as possible because that's where we have leverage. We can push from here. I'm gonna push up or fall backwards from the swing. So if we're balanced, we absorb and we can smoothly go the other way, the swing will look a lot more like that. If I'm balanced and I have this leverage and I move, the club's just gonna release for me. So let's dig into this thought right here. Notice the palm is facing the target. My palm and my face are the same. So you take your ring finger and your middle finger, they're on the front of the club. That's what I'm gonna to use to toss the club. I could also use my left hand like I'm bowling. We just need this energy because the club head is gonna make it come back to us like a boomerang. Our whole job with the takeaway is to patiently wait for that, absorb, and then as smoothly as possible, start going the other way and gain the momentum so the club can crack like a whip. Okay, once we get to that spot and we're gathering, the only move is the pelvis area, literally trying to knock over your lead ankle or just this whole area moving directly towards the target. Once you start to shift and swing, the club rotates you. So it really just comes down to, can I find this balance and keep that leverage or lean into that leverage and let it go? If we do that, we're gonna rip this shot with a ton of energy 
in the strike with very little energy in what we're doing. The key is feelings that you have within your body and where your mind's eye is. If you feel like you're strenuous in any spot or it's heavy or there's laboring, your golf swing is telling you that is not it, you're out of balance. If it feels relaxed and you can go with the flow, then you're in balance. Absorb imbalance, let it go. So now we're here, we get to this spot on the takeaway, a stop and go. But here we're gonna literally get here and say, hey, where is the spot? Is it here? No. Is it here? I don't need push. It's right here where my lower body my feet have leverage. That's where we're trying to get to with every single swing. If you get there with leverage, everything becomes so, so easy. So what am I really talking about with golfers and instruction and everything on YouTube? If you find yourself doing drills like this, you're maybe the top 3% of golfers. Most people are not gonna do all these drills and grind away. So I've been focused on what can I give the rest of the golfers who wanna practice a little bit, have some fun out there, play better and enjoy golf more, and that's it. So first thing we gotta do is understand that we gotta be in balance, north south east west arms hanging down as naturally as possible because that's where the club wants to go back to if we release the takeaway we're not going to try to go with it and move the club into position where our whole body's going to go and help us try to do that it's going to toss right up there so we can go and have it literally land in our palm specifically that knuckle if we go up here that knuckle is going to be directly away from the target but watch what happens as we come down and move our body guess what it's facing that way again. All we need to do is get some energy going back, toss it up. Because we're tossing it, we can move our body into position, catch the club with our right hand, because this arm can't go any farther back, like throwing a baseball, I can't throw it any farther back. But you can see, my arm is right in line with this inseam of my shirt, which is exactly where we wanna be when we strike the ball. And here's the biggest key. We're trying to absorb the takeaway, find this balance at the same time, and smoothly transition from going this way to that way with our body. We're gonna go up here and gather and shift. And because this arm is as far back as it can go, we have leverage. We don't have to hold it here. We don't have to throw it. We can just take this leverage that is natural, because I can't go any farther back, move our body, and literally let the release happen on its own. We got the club and the weight of the head lighter than the handle. It's going to give us a lot of speed. Gather and release. All right, guys, so we learned to let go with that passive right arm, create that leverage, and let the club do the work. Now, you have to ask yourself this question. Are you one of the 95% of golfers or one of the 5% of golfers? Are you gonna grind out there for four or five hours a day? Probably not. Are you wanting to just play better golf and have more fun and have a simple, easy, repeatable swing? Okay, then if that's the case, watch more of these videos. And if you really enjoyed the video, go ahead and you know, click the buttons, you know what to do. And now I'm gonna walk off for dramatic effect. Now.